Habib from Bangladesh says, there is a website that claims that the view of Ibn Hazm about music is valid, and he did not name the website, and he says that they claim that Al-Bukhari's hadith is the weakest of all regarding the music, etc. Wallahi, akhi, this is a big problem. When people have confusion in their religion, when people do fatwa shopping, and Labib is not the only one. I have been doing counseling for a lot of people with OCD. And the vast majority of them, their OCD is caused by reading fatwa websites. Why? The website gives you a fatwa for a particular question. You, because of lack of knowledge, think that this question fits you or part of it fits you. So you assume that you have to act accordingly, not knowing that this is not related at all to you. Why? Because you don't have the knowledge, you don't have the tools to make the analogy or to make that fatwa fit your actual situation. Now, Ibn Hazm says so and so, with all due respect. We all know Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri, one of the great scholars of Islam. He has many good views, but he has weird views without any doubt. And this is why all the Imams went against him and accused him of using illogical thinking when refusing to apply analogy. But this is beside the point. He was a great Imam and he had many good things. However, when you compare apple to apple, among the whole Muslim Ummah, who's accepted and more reputable, Imam Bukhari or Ibn Hazm? Definitely Imam Bukhari. Who's more knowledgeable in Hadith? Imam Bukhari or Ibn Hazm? Definitely Imam Bukhari, without any doubt, without any comparison. There's no percentage. So when someone like this uh, uh, anonymous uh, website comes and claims that the Hadith is weak, with all due respect, who are you? Are you someone like Sheikh Al-Albani, for example? who's also infallible, he could make mistakes, but what website? It makes me a bit agitated when someone says to me, oh, Sheikh, this publication house said that the hadith is authentic, when Sheikh Al-Albani said it's not authentic. So you're comparing Sheikh Al-Albani to a publishing house that publishes books for money? Who are their scholars? We don't know. They say authenticated by a group of scholars. Who are they? We don't know. Do you think I'm gonna buy, uh, pay a penny for their verdict on a hadith? Hadith is something that Allah has preserved along with the Quran. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikr. This is part of the dhikr that Allah will protect till the end of time. So I do not accept at all anyone to come and claim or accuse the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ simply because he feels like listening to music and contemporary songs. So he's looking and searching for anything that says music is okay and he catches it. The hadith that they're referring to has been connected and authenticated in Sunan Abi Dawood, the same hadith. Are they going to speak ill about that as well? Where all the narrators are 100% false proof? They can't, but they sell this allegation to people like you who do not know in the science of hadith, who had not done their due diligence. Unfortunately, who have something deep down in their heart that yearns for listening to music and are looking for anything that says music is good. So, Akhi, definitely this is a, uh, not good.